guys welcome back to hospitals and in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this logo reveal in cinema so without wasting any time let's get started so as you see here i already have few materials so let's create some shapes let's like this sphere radius around 20 cm we need two more spheres so hold ctrl or command and just drag now we need one clonal object for that select these three spheres and put this inside the clonal like this select the clonal go to mode and instead of linear let's change it to grid array now let's make few changes over here such as count and size okay so count i change to 15 3 and 26 size take 40 0 40 and this one also 40 got it nice okay. let's quickly add one plane also just below the spheres resize it Perfect. Okay, now let's add one plane effector to the clono for in transition. So select the clono, go to move graph, effector, plane. Okay, now go to parameter, uncheck this position and check scale. Uniform scale, let's make it minus one okay now go to fall off and select spherical field let's quickly animate this field so go to frame zero and increase this field Yes, almost here. Add a keyframe here and then go to frame around 70. Reduce this size. Okay, add a keyframe. Let's increase our timeline. So let's make it around 300. Okay, now let's quickly add one delay also. So select the cloner and go to move graph inside effector. Select this delay. Go to parameters. No, deform. Go to effector and increase the strength around 90 and mode spring. So now if you go back and play, you get this kind of animation. Nice. Let's quickly add on camera. So click here to add camera. Then click on this box. Go to chords and rotation. 90 and this minus 90 okay now quickly assign material so we can swap the difference
All right. Now let's create a space for our logo. Okay. So let's go here and add one sphere. Sphere size I take around 200 centimeter. Okay. Then let's quickly animate the sphere. So we we'll go to chords. At frame 100, the down, and add a keyframe here. And after around 80 frames, animate the sphere to zero. Okay. Now. Let's quickly add now simulation tags. So select the sphere, go to simulation tag and add rigid body. And inside force, let's add some follow position such one for all. So just hold control or command and drag this tag down like this to copy and paste. Okay. Now add one collider tag for the plane as well as the sphere. So go to simulation tag, add this collider body tag, then hold control or command and copy and paste to sphere. Okay. Now just hide this sphere. So for that, just hold alt or option and double click on this dots. Let's go to our camera view and let's go back and let's play the animation. Great. Now quickly add one light, so go here and select the area light, just go to normal view, we need to adjust the light a bit, so go to here details, fall off, let's rotate the light. Also add some shadows. So we take shadow map soft and resolution and 50. Okay, let's go to camera view and let's see what we got. Okay, before that, let's go to render setting and change this geometry to best. Also go to effect and add ambient occlusion. Let's change this color to uh, like this. Okay. One more thing go to effect and add this sail renderer. Okay. Check this color icon also. Check this quantize. Let's take a render now. Great. You can also add a bit of reflection. So for that, go to here and add this sky object and then give this HDR material to it. And then if you take a render, okay, now uh, let's take this render and then we move to after effects. But remember, we are taking the render in two parts. One is this balls and the other render is the only background. So for that, let's select the plane. Plane, right click, go to render tags, 
like decompositing and uncheck this scene by camera option okay that way you can't see the background you will get only the spheres so we'll take this one render first and then only the plain background so as you can see here i have the sphere simulation and a background so let's take both of them in a comp quickly animate a bit so what I'll do I just create one null object parent just go to the null select this null so I want to animate scale and rotation because of this part so it's not looking nice here Now let's quickly add our logo. I hope you liked this tutorial. Subscribe as and don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.